Welcome back to Blockchain Pill. My name is Alex, and today we'll go over what's been happening on the Internet Computer Protocol the previous week. And first of all, let's have a look at the ICP price. As we can see, we have been consolidating at around the $9 level. I would love for ICP to just skyrocket to $100, but unfortunately, this is how crypto works. And well, this is pretty much how any market works. Whenever there is a 3x increase in price in less than like one month or two months, I don't know even how much it took us to get to $10 from the very lows at $3, people will be taking profits, right? And that is expected. The most important thing, in my opinion, is that we saw that ICP can pump. Listen, there is a lot of resistance here. Like those have been failed breakouts in the past. So there is a lot of selling pressure here from people who maybe want to get out of their positions or just people trying to short it. But I think this is not the time to short anything, especially with the new bull run starting and with the ETF coming for Bitcoin in January 2024. I think one of the most bullish signs that we can see is ICP closing the early candle over $10. That is going to be the fuel that we need to kickstart a real bull run for ICP in 2024 and going all the way to 2025. So there is less than a week left for ICP to make a decision there. And I think that if we manage to close over those highs back in July 2022, I think it's going to look pretty good for ICP. This is a consolidation that we have been waiting for. And I think there is nothing really to worry about with what's been happening with the ICP price right now. Now, with that out of the way, Definity announced that the Internet Computer Blockchain has taken the first step toward digital sovereignty in Europe. GDPR, or General Data Protection Regulation, is the toughest privacy and security law in the world, and it applies to any organization anywhere in the world as long as they target or collect data related to people in the EU. As mentioned in this Definity Medium article, at first glance, blockchain technology and GDPR don't seem compatible, mostly because of the immutability of blockchain itself. And some of the GDPR requirements are the right right to correct data, which means the ability to modify the data stored on chain if it's wrong, the right to be forgotten, which is the ability to delete content you no longer want online, preventing company usage of data, which means preventing companies from using unlawfully collected data, and unambiguous liability, knowing exactly who is the storer of data in case any of the GDPR rules are broken so that they know who to go after. Now, the good news is that Internet Computer is the first GDPR compatible blockchain and it manages this by opening EU subnets to solve the pain points of blockchain and GDPR compatibility. In summary, the Internet Computer is positioned as a promising blockchain technology that addresses GDPR concerns, offering a decentralized and secure infrastructure for European users and organizations. Listen, this is huge news for the Internet Computer Protocol. And if you want to learn more about what this is about, I recommend you check the Medium article. Or even better, if you don't like reading articles, I recommend you go watch Jerry Banfield's video on the subject. He goes into every detail of why this is important. I will link it in the description below. I feel like a lot of people have missed those news. The ICP node provider compensation shifts from a fixed rate location-centric model to incentivize useful work, enhancing network reliability and performance. From my understanding, this will lower some of the ICP inflation or at the very least maximize the performance of the network. And either of those two choices is great news for the internet computer. We've got a cool update from one of my favorite teams building on the IC. ID Geek announced that you can now unlink SNS neurons and sell them on the website. There have been quite a few SNS neurons sold. And for anyone wondering the reason why why someone would want to sell those SNS neurons is because they don't want to have to wait the required amount of time until the tokens unlock, so they're willing to sell them at a discount to get their liquidity immediately. We'll do a video on how to sell your SNS neurons as well as your internet identity by using IDGeek in the future, so make sure you're subscribed if you're not already to not miss the video when we post it. Sonic announced its brand new perps platform called Galois. According to this tweet, beginning in March 2024, we'll be able to leverage trade over 100 tokens with up to 50x leverage. A few things are unclear, whether or not the platform is built for the ICP ecosystem or for other blockchains, and I assume it will be available for other blockchains as well, because 
because I don't think we have a hundred tokens on the internet computer protocol that you may want to trade with up to 50x leverage. So probably it's going to be outside the ICP ecosystem as well. And secondly, the bigger of the two questions, it's not really clear if this is a Sonic DEX subsidiary, meaning that Sonic and all the Sonic token holders own this perps platform, Galloy, or whether it is a different company altogether. That is not clear, but those are all the information that we have on it. So we'll keep an eye on it and keep you guys up to date as soon as we have more information. Cakemaker, the co-founder of Sonic Dex, released a few impressive stats for the decentralized exchange. The year-over-year -year growth has been incredible, with the total value locked increasing from $262,000 to over $3.5 million, and the monthly transaction volume skyrocketing from $105,000 all the way to $10 million currently. And listen, this is some serious growth that the Sonic has seen. And I want to congratulate the Sonic team. It's almost weekly that they come up with a new update or improves an existing feature of the DEX. So really, really great job to the team. The Sonic token alongside other ICP ecosystem tokens have been listed on CoinGecko and the prices are now trackable through the website, which is great news for the DeFi ecosystem on ICP because we need all the visibility that we can get. Hot or not, the ICP-based TikTok platform has announced an upcoming rebranding competition. According to the Hot or Not team, the community will be invited to pick a new name for the platform in a competition with exciting prizes to be won. Until we get more information about the rebrand, I welcome you to watch the podcast we did with Rishi Chada, the CEO and founder of Hot or Not. We've got an update from RideApp, a 100% on-chain Uber-like platform being built on the internet computer protocol. London, England will be the first city where a ride goes live and the team is planning to expand to other UK cities and Europe. The team has shared a roadmap for quarter one 2024 and announced that a token is coming soon. And let's have a look at the SNS Launchpad. Tracks, a social media marketplace for artists and music producers built on the internet computer, has completed its SNS decentralization swap and has raised just over 300,000 ICP. The team announced that after the Christmas break, they will begin the process of listing tracks on DEXs on ICP and that liquidity will be provided by the Tracks DAO. Everybody who participated in the track sale will have their tracks token in their NNS wallet. Tracks was also added to Plug Wallet, meaning you can now add, send, and swap it, but be wary. There is not a ton of liquidity yet, so I would wait for the Tracks DAO to add liquidity before trying to swap in and out of Trax tokens, especially for bigger transactions. Goldau is in the final 24 hours of the SNS sale and they have reached an impressive 750,000 ICP raised with over 2,300 participants this far. The Goldau SNS swap will most likely be over by the time this episode goes live, so congratulations to everybody who managed to participate in their launch. The Goldau team has been very active and in close communication with the ICP community and one of the questions that caught my attention was related to the ways Goldau will generate revenue. The team responded in great detail and I recommend you go and check all of the questions and answers as that will give you a better insight into the team's vision and plans. And lastly, we have one more project in the SNS Launchpad and you probably recognize it if you're a regular ICP user. ICP Coins is a coin tracker similar to DEX Tools or DEX Screener on Ethereum that aims to raise 120,000 ICP to further develop its tools. As I said in multiple previous videos, we need token analytics and token tracking tools if we want to have a DeFi boom on the Internet Computer Protocol and this far, nobody besides ICP coins was able to create a coin tracker like this so i think they are very welcome in the icp ecosystem and with that we're done thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video